I gained 31 million power for the Zenith of Power event, and today we're gonna talk about it. What's going on, guys? Cheers. <laughs> Now, as you guys know, okay, Zenith of Power was here a couple of days ago, a 10% infantry health skin, super, super valuable. Later in the video, we're going to take a look at some other continents, Zenith of Power rankings, and some players pushed hundreds of millions of power for Zenith in a single day. So make sure you stay tuned for that. You're not going to want to miss it. And for those of you who tuned into my live stream, you'll know that I wasn't originally going to push for Zenith, right? There was a couple of reasons why one, I wasn't super sure that I could guarantee my victory. I also figured there was a lot of other players in my kingdom that could really benefit from that skin. And I didn't want to push my power super high with only 400 million kill points. You know, I just feel like maybe that's just not a great look. You know, I'm taking up a lot of power in the kingdom and I don't have as many kill points as, as you know, I should have for my power. So I figured, you know what? It's fine. I'm not going to push for it. But you guys, those of you that joined my live stream, if you were there, you will know pretty much everybody was telling me dude no you have to push you need to push you should push you deserve the skin and you won't you have no balls you're a puss even with gaming was there he popped in and he's like oh are you pushing i'm like god damn it dude everybody wants me to push for zenith so ultimately okay i was peer pressured into pushing for zenith of power and you probably clicked on this video wondering did i get it did I win Zenith of Power? Did I come in first? Did I even get the skin at all? Was I pushed out of the top 10? Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna scroll down here and I really, I hate to say it, but... <sighs> we got that fucking skin, dude. We got that shit, man. You thought we weren't gonna win that Zenith of Power. You already know I was gonna win that shit. That's right, boys and girls, we got ourselves the permanent Atlantis skin. This is a super badass looking skin. 10% infantry health, incredible. I don't like that you lose 5% cav defense and 5% archer attack. I would almost rather be flipped around. I'd rather lose archer defense and cavalry attack. But regardless, this skin is badass, man. This is badass. These tridents around the edges kind of form like a, a thunder like lightning arc that that have little fireworks that go off and then it splits off into di different directions super cool skin not only because it looks badass but also because the stats are incredible and you guys know that i have a majority of infantry commanders i'll probably be focusing on chook very soon uh and and it, overall it was a great push so we're going to talk a little bit more about that let me pop open the mail that we have here and you can see that we were ranked two. So we didn't finish first place. Uh, future in Kingdom, I think he was in 1561. I'm not 100% sure. But yeah, he came in there with a 40 million power gain. And I just didn't have enough speed ups or resources to push for it. But realistically, it's not really worth going from second to first, right? You only get a couple more heads. That the 10 million power push is not worth the small difference between first and second. Uh, so you can see here my Zenith of Power. Um, 31 million power gain, which was crazy. Top 10 was 23 million. So I would say overall, I had one of the easier Zenith of powers that I've seen. And this, this was not the easiest one that I've seen, uh, but I've seen most of them were way harder than this. So a lot of players had to get uh, 30 million just to be in the top 10. So the fact that I could get second with 31 million is insane. Along the way, we also got the 5 million troop uh, achievement and the 100 million Kraken achievement. So that was really Really nice i'm really happy about that we also secured the unequaled glory avatar frame which looks badass i am a fan of this just royal regal king look i think it looks super super cool and honestly unequaled glory i mean that's pretty much me like that's pretty much my middle name is unequaled glory now the other reason that i decided to push during my live stream was because the first day lined up with the troop training day for mightiest governor and I've been wanting to get a 5511 Leonidas for a while. And I know that that sounds hilarious, right? Like when you think about a infantry mightiest governor in 2021, normally you're going for Zenobia or Pakal, right? Like those, those are the premium 
infantry commanders that you would want to win from an event like mightiest governor in 2021 but i've already expertise in obia my constantine like constantine's not really that valuable anymore now that trajan's in the game and pakal i'm not really i'm, I'm not a huge uh, fan of him in the open field and i don't really plan on rallying with pakal although i do have herald so it's something i could do but that really just depends on do i want to max out my tech every kvk and that's just expensive so I don't know all about all that but what i do know is that a 5511 leonidas is a, a good value investment and i could just slap him behind my guan yu and we're good to go boys so right now i am in first place for muddiest governor events and the last stages are capped so i actually don't think it's possible for any of these players to you know uh, legally pass me in mightiest governor um so i do think this will be a first place mightiest governor win as well which just makes it a little bit more worth it to do that zenith of power push 180 sculptures is great we get 2000 gems whatever a couple hours of speed ups the rest of this stuff is not really worth it really what you're going for is the sculptures which is awesome oh yeah and we also got the matching name plaque which i think looks sweet as well now during the live stream i did have a lot of you guys actually send me some zenith of power scores that you saw from your continents and we're going to go over some of those in this video today so stay tuned for that but before we do that i do just want to give a huge shout out to everyone in my kingdom that helped me achieve this right because you need those title givers online for duke for something like this it's an absolute must and i think that title givers do not get enough credit in rise of kingdoms i mean you need people on all day pretty much to give out titles and it's usually not the same person but you need a small team of people and it's just there's so much uh time investment that goes into that and most people just take it for granted so if you were a title giver during this time thank you thank you thank you i know we didn't have a huge list of people asking for duke but still just the fact that there was someone online at all times when i needed it was super helpful shout out to rk he sent me like i don't know like 150 or 200 million gold or something like that which i insisted that he not do uh, because i just feel like it's better to like save it for a kvk and then you know if i needed some i would ask for it but he sent it to me anyway so thank you so much for that i do appreciate it shout out to miss mayhem who also kind of gave me the green light to go ahead and push for zenith uh i again you know she she's worked really hard to organize a successful kingdom and uh, part of that is making sure that players don't have excess power and all that stuff so the fact that you know she was supportive of this push and also just an overall uh, great person so shout out to everybody again who uh, is in my alliance and my kingdom who helped me with this uh this little victory so i feel like that has to be said also if you are a mega powerful player who loves to fight in kvk then consider 1568 it's a pretty cool place to hang out anyway so let's take a look at some of the zenith rankings that you guys sent me now again this is from day one of zenith of power okay so keep that in mind we've got sammy over here sent me his rankings uh first place on day one was 38 million i was first place in day one and i had 18 million so yeah th these zeniths were absolutely crazy right from the get-go for a lot of people here this one comes in from yamista 42 looks like his first day scores were 55 million million actually crazy like this is actually crazy the fact that these this is power gain it's not like points or anything like that this is power gained in a single day on the first day usually you see the biggest pushes happening on the last day right maybe it's because you know it lined up with mightiest governor so a lot of players were restricted in their mightiest governor uh, caps or you know if there wasn't a rune that was available on the first day there's a lot of factors right but usually people push on the last day so the fact that some of these were 55 million on day one that's insane this one's from it looks like gara temex uh this player has 20 million power on the first day of zenith so this one was a little bit more realistic for uh for my personal kvk this is pretty familiar this one came from meow sama this is crazy 75 million power for zenith that's insane dude the top five is all 40 million power. it looks like the top six is 40 million power and higher that's actually ridiculous dude this is this is crazy elsa Dani kong that is a truly impressive power gain in 1556 oh actually this player that gained 75 million power is uh it looks like the 23rd strongest player in the entire game uh and i think that that's a little bit outdated they may actually be in the top 15 at this point so jesus christ that's insane this screenshot's coming in from a uh, user kai day it looks like their zenith on day one was 102 million power 
I know it's hard to see because it's a little, it's a little bit smaller here, but like, dude, my God, my God, that is actually insane. A hundred million power in one day. Second place has 10 million. What? Like, can you imagine gaining a hundred million power in a day? What does that even cost? That's thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. That's gotta be like $10,000 or something or more. I don't even, I can't even fathom that much money. Like, are you, are you st <laughs> And then of course we have Maria from 2199 who sends me this one where first place is 17 million, right? So it's so interesting to see uh, just the discrepancy when it comes to the Zenith of power rankings. It's like, if you're in an easy continent, you can literally save thousands and thousands of dollars. It's crazy. We have FC 1948 sent me this one day one, 45 million power flat Mars theory sent me this one 9.6 million. That's crazy for a day one Zenith. There's just nothing. Nobody pushed at all. It looks like this continent. This is one of the earliest continents in the game. Uh, so this is definitely a, a bunch of older players, probably some dead kingdoms. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe they pushed at the last day, but that's insane. So this one comes from Sarif from 1875 and what on earth, what in the world, like 247 million power gained in a single day on day one of zenith of power like what on earth it, it, it doesn't even it i don't even understand that like how do you like how do you even do that how many reserves how many troop training reserves do you have to save for this type of power gain or did they just spam the gem button like did they pull a burnaby i, I don't understand here but like what on earth like the top five or the top four, sorry, are all over a hundred million power gain. Like the, with the amount of money that was spent between those four players, they could have purchased a small city in the middle of America. Like this is it's insane. And again, I can't emphasize this enough. That's for one day. That was the first day of Zenith. This it's not like those were the final numbers, right? And I can't imagine they pushed, pushed much more than that, but day one, 247 million power. I don't know if it's just me, but I feel incredibly poor right now. Anyway, I figured I would close it out with a couple of tips for you guys. Uh, first off, should you push Zenith of power in the future? Most likely no, right? I, I don't think most players should push for Zenith. I personally never thought that I would be a player that would push for Zenith. It's just too risky because you know, you, you are investing so much of your account, so many resources, speed ups, everything like that. And you could just be pushed out by a handful of whales. Uh, and it's just all for nothing. If you don't get that per uh, permanent skin. So really you have to know the type of continent you're in. You have to get very lucky um, with that type of stuff. And it has to be a skin that's worth it. And you have to be in the right position to do so. It's, it's really not something that I recommend that, uh, most players push for even mid spenders. Like maybe you can push for one, right? It's really hard. I got extremely lucky. Like if, if I were in pretty much any other competitive continent, I wouldn't have gotten this skin, right? So I got extremely lucky with that. So my first tip is if you're considering pushing, consider again, it's probably not worth it, right? If you don't, if you aren't able to gain at least 30 million power or maybe 25 million power in like a, in like a weaker um, kingdom, right? Then, or, or continent, then I wouldn't really consider it because even if you can win with less than that, you want to at least have that in the bag in case you have to push that far. Um, because again, if you don't win, you don't get anything, right? You get like a 30 day token, which is not worth it for what you're spending. Uh, some other tips, of course, you want to make sure if you can, that you do this during a kingdom buff. A lot of my training on day one was not during a kingdom buff. So I had to do it with just Duke. I think we had a 10% rune or 15% rune. Uh, and of course I changed my civilization to, uh, to Germany as well. You absolutely want to change to either Germany or Britain. Uh, those are the ones that give you troop training speed, which is absolutely crucial for something like this event. Um, and you also want to make sure that you're in the, um, Alliance that is going to give you the most amount of Holy site buff to training speed, right? So make sure you look around your kingdom, see which alliances control the proper Holy sites. So that way you get the maximum amount of Holy site, uh, training speed buff as well. Very important. And that's pretty much it. Anyway, guys, with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you drop a thumbs up on it. It really helps out the channel ton and it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so other rise of kingdoms players might see it comment down below what you think of the zenith of power skin do you think that zenith is worth it do you think it's worth it if it lines up with mightiest governor at least or do you think it's never worth it at all given how much you have to push for it i would love to hear from you guys down below 
Also, if you're new around here, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that I upload a Rise of Kingdoms video. As always, my social media links are in the description below, so make sure you follow me over there. There's a discount code for gamer subs. And make sure you follow me over there on Twitch because next time I go live, you're not gonna wanna miss it. We could be doing some crazy stuff like this. So make sure you go ahead and follow me there. With that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been Omniarch. I will talk to you guys again soon. Peace.